So I want to show you guys something today that um, some people have said it could revolutionize hunters from home hunters to pro. Um, I'm about to show you a method that I use to, I'm about to show you a method that I use for great stuff. Okay, this is going to be a method comparable to buying Tiger Foam, Foam at Green, any of those kits. They charge about $400 for a 200 board foot, it's not square foot, but board foot, you know, of coverage. I have talked to people who have used this kit or these kits. I have talked to people who have used professional stuff. They all agree that my method here is a tremendous way of getting this job done more affordably and it can be efficient. This is all an exception to a Tyvek suit. You will need a Tyvek suit, trust me. You will need wire cutters, side cuts as I call them, scissors, that's fine. You will need great stuff. In my testing, this can shoots the best, okay? You can get fire block, which is fire resistant. It has a fire rating to it. I don't know what it is, but it has a fire rating to it. It is about seven to eight dollars per can. One of these, okay? Just a cheap little blow off gun, and you'll need something else in a minute. You need your straws. You'll need cutoff wheel. And that piece, the magic. Yeah, I didn't have it prepared. I didn't have it sitting up here. Sue me. Okay, the next piece. Ball inflators. If you look here, there is a hole from the end on the edge. Everybody knows how these works. There's also a hole here, but you got this hole here. You use this and cut that off. Cut it off right behind that hole. You don't want two holes. You don't want a hole on the side. And that's the part you can't use your side cuts on. You put your adapter on your air tool and your ball valve fits in that. Take hot glue and fill in the holes on the side of that adapter. You want as much air going forward as possible. The best way I have found to do this, and it, you will have to play with it. Each person will shoot it differently. Each person will have a different experience, but the principle will be the same. So, my side cuts. For some reason, this works better for me. I cut about that much off. Leave this off the can. The last step is to put the can on this. You look at the edge, right about the end, just back a little bit. You take this and like I said, ground it down to a point, just a little bit of a point. You put it on the side of this. Don't do it real hard, you'll go through both sides. You only want to go through one side. You see that? Kind of, the more you go in, the more of an angle you want to go at. And you'll think you're not getting it, but soon it'll go in. Push it all the way up like that. You want to get your air hose connected up next. The last thing you want to do is put your can on, okay? Because it's so easy to activate it. Now, you get the idea. A lot of you people right now are going, holy shit. Yeah, right, holy shit, because it works. These are the cheap ones. Buy the original ones. The original ones are yellow. This is 3D printed. I don't think the yellow ones are 3D printed. This has ridges in it. Can you see that? Well, it's on the inside too. And when the foam cures, it doesn't want to pull out very well. These are supposed to be reusable. You can dig them out. Take this, this is extra if you want to try it this way. If you don't want a round, uh, a fan sp a round spread and you want a fan spread, 
put this on. This is not a half two. That's why I didn't list it at the beginning. That and I forgot. Shut up. Okay. See where this is going? Super simple. These are like 15, 20 bucks a pack. I got 13, 14, 15, I don't know how many. Doesn't matter. You can clean them up. Get the yellow ones though. Don't get these knockoffs. Get the yellow ones. The guy who invented it. Support him. I have supported him twice. This guy was an accident. I didn't pay attention to the listing. So I'm in our spider cave, which is a small set that leads into another cave, which I can't show it because that's a that's a bigger set. But okay, I want to show you uh, some of what we've done with my technique. I only painted some of it to, to give uh, a little bit about what it looks like. It's, it's good. It's not hard-coated, but it will be. You know, that was all sprayed with my technique. I have talked to people who are both in the spray foam installation business and people who have used spray foam for our applications or haunt applications. 200 board foot kits is what a lot of people have used. They said a lot of people on average said you get about 170 to 175 square feet of coverage by the time you get it thick enough for what you need. When you do the math, when we've sat down, some of us have sat down collectively and done some math. If you shoot it onto a wall, but you put things on the wall and you Cover it with that screen, which I'm going to tell you what I use here in a little bit for the walls. And when you cover that, the wall's there. You don't have to have a whole lot of structure. It's there for just texture only. I can get as cheap, as, the, as efficient as 35 cents per square foot. You just trust me on that. Depending on your application and what you're going to be covering and how much, how thick you need to make yours, will depend on how much savings you'll have. It's not so much about the savings you'll be making. It's the fact that it's more affordable to get started. You can build your structure, screen it out. You can grab $20 of foam and start. You don't have to put out $400 at once just for foam. So that is my contribution to the haunt community. Now I hope it helps somebody.